Hey guys, Vanilla Thunder 180 here, and just here to give you a quick channel vlog and uh, about a couple issues I want to talk about. Um, the fir first one I want to say I'm back. <laughs> I'm back after a long, a long period of quietness, and I because I've been busy with work. I'm dealing with two jobs right now, and I've been just a little, been a lot busier than I thought I would. But I'm glad to be back with you guys and. I just want to talk about some things in the sports world right now, and um, but before I go into that, I'm going to talk about what I'm plan to do. I'm going to plan to do another guitar vlog as I done one in the past, and it's gotten really good reviews from my channel. So I think I, I will continue to do one of those, and once I bring them up, I also want to do more gameplay videos. I've just had been having a really bad time, troubling time recording the gameplay videos only due to the fact that my game my game card is not the best quality but I'm still trying to do my best might get an Elgato like I've said many times so I can up court, upload GTA 5 footage with me and Wizard of the Blue and those are always fun I mean we, we when we game we always say man we should get Elgatos and because a lot of stuff happens and try, you guys would love to see it so maybe I might invest more in the future but before we get into this I want to say I'm back hopefully I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my best to get keep up with the program and try and get one or two videos out a month no promises only because I can't don't know my schedule right now it's kinda of go 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 I work Mondays Thursdays every other Saturdays and it's just flexible schedule so I never know my uh, full schedule so let's get into it now as I, as I was talking about I want to do a sports log and talk about a couple of issues first issue I want to talk about is the whole quarterback situation in Cleveland with Johnny Menzel, Josh McCown. And I think this is getting way out of proportion again. As as we as expected, it's Johnny Menzel. And wherever he goes, trouble will follow, controversy will follow, and everything else media likes to go into. But but I'm here to defend Johnny Menzel in the sense I think he's getting too bad of a rep. And I want to start off by saying he's only been in the league one year. You can't judge a player's entire football career after only a one game. And yes, he got got injured, but let's be honest, there's a lot of quarter a lot of not just quarterbacks, a lot of positions out there that where players get injured and heck there was a there's been a couple of rookies already this year that have been had that have had season end, ending injuries. But that's one of the main things. You can't give up on a player after only one year. And I think that's a problem with the Browns the last I mean 22 22 or 23 I've lost count starting quarterbacks in the last 15 years that's really pathetic they can't stick with a quarterback and then that's what I think is bringing them down as an organization why they can't succeed because the one once you when you stick with a quarterback you got to stick with that system and building build around that system when you're switching quarterbacks left and right, you can't stick with the same system. So you're ruining the system for both the wide receivers, the offensive line, and the running back. So it's it's a whole out bad situation when you're trying to do this many switches on on the quarterback side of the offense. Now I'm not going to deny it. Johnny Manziel sucked in his couple games that he played in the regular regular season, but I'm not ready to give up on him yet. He still has to prove himself to me. He had trouble. He had apparent, an apparent alcohol problem that the media was saying, and he went to rehab and he got himself fixed as as long as I know of. And sure, yeah, he had a little scuffle with a fan. But this is what ticks me off the most. What would you do in that situation? There comes a point when you're you can't take any more. He told him to stop, and apparently he either I don't know the full result of the. Uh, altercation but apparently he either threw at the fan or threw it at the ground and but when you're get so much pressure at some point you're gonna break and I think the media is just giving him a really hard time I think we should just let him be let him be a, another player in this league don't give him any high expectations don't give him too low expectations just set him in the middle now with Josh McCown though that's what I was kind of confused about at the beginning but this is where I think the Texas for relativeness comes in. I don't, relate, I don't know if relativeness is a word, but anyway, Johnny Manziel and Josh McCown are both from Texas, so I think that they wanted to bring in another guy from the same state, same state to help mentor the young rookie. 
well, sophomore this year. But he is, I think it's a mentor and trying to just move him forward in the game of football. I don't see the Browns getting rid of Johnny Menzel in the next four to five years, only because they have to build around him, and they want him to be, quote, maybe their next franchise quarterback. They've said that many times, but when is it going to stop for the Browns? When do you want to cut the point where you need a franchise quarterback? It might be just me, but I think the Browns just need to stick with Johnny Menzel for a couple, just a couple more years, and if he doesn't do it, then fine. You've had enough, you haven't done anything to propel, excel the program of or of the Cleveland Browns organization. So it's it's worth a shot to d take with Johnny Menzel. I know Cleveland fans, I, I mean, like, I know I'm, I'm a hard-fought Cleveland fan. I know the feeling we want the Browns to su succeed so bad. But the thing is, we're not, we don't look like we're in any position to su succeed with the organization's movements. But I just hope that they can make the right decisions on both the offensive side and stick with Johnny Menzel for right now. If they, he doesn't succeed, well, we have a great draft next year. We can draft a, another quarterback if we want to. Ohio State has three top top 50 quarterbacks probably with JT Barrett and Cardell Jones and Braxton Miller. So I think they have a great chance for the program to succeed if they stick with Johnny Menzel and let him succeed. But that will be the end of this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will plan on be doing more vlogs in the future. And hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more. Comment on what I should do next. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Think, hey, I, I agree with that too. Or if you don't agree, just comment what your opinions are in below. I, I'm not one to judge. I, I take in everyone else's criticism, comments, and I love to comment on what I think. Because these are my views, and... I mean, everyone should have a beer of their own. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And Vanilla Thunder 180 is out.